Whoa! Uh -oh. Man, I was just trying to fish. Get out of here, man. I'm just trying to have a... Oh. Cling to life. <laughs> Cling to life. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to fish. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Paul Tamayo, and I'm here with... Steven Tatillo. Oh, um, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> we, are, we are playing Far Cry 5 today, as you can clearly hey, see. Wait, my buddy's going to get him. My buddy's going to take this guy out. Look at this. Hit my buddy. Wait, where's, on, where's my buddy? I think he's... Is he down? Oh, oh no, here he is. Right here he comes. Yeah, there, he goes. there you go. All right, buddy. Better late than never, homie. Okay. So, yeah, Far, Far Cry 5. <laughs> Let's use that med kit. <laughs> uh, game comes out uh, in a few days, and we wanted to give people a look at, uh, at the game, show some things that are similar and some things that are different, and we've just gone into the western region of the game. So Far Cry 5, as people probably have picked up on already, is set in the United States of America, which is a big change for this series, which has been going for a lot of games and has always been you know, somewhere exotic. Here, the exotic locale is this fictional county, Hope County, Montana, and this cult has taken over. And, like, you you played the whole intro of the game already, Paul, right? Right. And, like, tell people what the setup is there. So, essentially, you are a deputy. Um, you're there with a U.S. Marshal to arrest the cult leader, known as the Father, um, who has a huge, really creepy cult in the middle of Montana. Um, and, uh, you know, things kind of go awry, and then you have to... Uh, kind of go awry. I recall <laughs> a helicopter crashing yeah. <laughs> and barely surviving, Paul. Yes. You know, it, it, it's things, dire. It's an intense opening scene to the game. Yeah, it's real, really, really intense. And then you find yourself sort of as a part of the resistance or being saved by a member of the resistance. Right. Um, and you take it from there. Yeah, This the idea is communication has been cut off. This militia runs this county. They're infiltrated into every nook and corner of the, uh, of the life of this county. And so, you know, there are people here who live here who are upset and, uh, about... The, what's been going on, and you're going to be interacting with them as well. But you are now in this place. If you look at the map of the game, you start on this opening island, and then quickly it expands out into three major regions. Now, Far Cry games have famously had basically like two major sectors, and you play them in the north, and you go to the south, whatever, from like two and three, had that and everything. Here, three sectors, each of them uh, controlled by one of the members of this cult. So there's this family that's at the apex of the cult. And I've been playing in John's region. Paul, this is your saber looking at it. And you had moved up north into Jacob's region and yep. unfog this area up here. And you can see that each area has its own resistance meter. And as you do uh, quests and accomplishments, you blow up like enemy trucks and silos, you help people out. You, level, you raise a level of resistance. And I think that's gonna like change what happens in that area. More bad guys are coming after you, but I think you're also supposed to see more people helping you. Mm -hmm. And you can see, because it's a Ubisoft game, there's a lot of stuff in it. So there's 52 missions just to do in this one region. Nice. Um, and this uh, cool looking map. That oh, they have crop here. circles. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't even know what the mission is going to be over there. Ooh. Maybe we'll get some aliens landing. Nice. And you can see some of these headshots here, some of these characters, um, and they represent some of the people that you're going to be able to recruit in the game. They have a buddy system that comes back from like Far Cry 2. You've got a buddy here, Jess Black, and she could run around with you. Um, but you can also just recruit kind of average people in the game as well, instead of just these nine named individuals. And so we've got this guy, Eric Keaton, uh, running around with us. He's a long range specialist. And if we get five kills with him, it'll unlock some power. So one of the really big different things structurally for the game for me isn't just the way that they divide into three areas, but that you are not just climbing towers, defogging a map, and then having a bunch of icons show up in order to tell you what to do, which is sort of the stereotypical Ubisoft game design. So we did just come upon this silo, and it's like the other one, where it's like if we blow it up, we'll add resistance points. But the way the game actually unfolds is more about come upon something and you know be curious about it and interact with it. And so in this case, we just came across a cult outpost, and we can you know do a lot of the things you'll know from a Far Cry game, pull out our binoculars, try to tag enemies. Yeah, what do you typically like to do? Do you like going guns blazing, or do you take the stealth approach? I like to have the bow and arrow out and try yeah. to do the stealth approach. I just got rid of the bow and arrow, so I apologize. <laughs> but that's usually my my approach is yeah. take out the alarm and then take them all out quietly as like as quietly as I can. And you get extra points for doing that, which is something right. people always like. Oh, and by the way, there is does seem to be an option for you to be able to reset outposts at some point in the game, which was I it been kind of a controversial thing throughout the Far Cry series. We're just gonna go in guns blazing here. Yeah, let's do it. You have to see how this stuff works. So a lot of this will feel familiar to people who've played uh, other Far Cry games. Because we have a buddy with us, we can send him out as well. So we can just send him out to attack that guy, for example. There he goes. And he took him out. Um, a lot of mayhem, like in any other Far Cry game. Oh no, it's a bear. So I've liberated the area at the same time that I've 
<laughs> Unleash the bear. That was very nice of you. Yeah, it's just trying to keep the bears out of captivity. And so bit by bit, you get this vibe of, okay, I'm pushing back from the malicious control of this county and giving it back to the people who live there. And lo and behold, once we do that, there'll be some new missions that are given out at, uh, from here. So I got a bonus because they at least didn't raise the alarm, even though they knew I was coming. So I didn't get a full sneak bonus. So you just walk up to people who have mission icons on them and... Bears. Like this guy's got a problem with bears. We try and catch them and release them somewhere safer. But these bears got into some of that bliss crap the cult has stored out back. Oh, they're like act all crazy. It's too dangerous to catch them. We got to put them down. So we could now move over to a bear hunting mission, or we could talk to this person and we could hire her. Mm -hmm. So we could say. I'm not in America to mince around all scared every day. I've got a right to live my fucking life. And Eden's Gate can't take that away. And then we can make her, add her to our roster of buddy characters. And so there she is. And we can select her to be our buddy instead. So let's just do that. Cool. And then she will run around with us instead. And we can send her around. So I find that this, the way that you discover things in the world is a little bit more natural than, or natural feeling than it usually do, feels in these games because you aren't being just handed out a whole pile of like a laundry icons list. And, th and things to do. And so instead, oh, we came upon the silo. So there's something to do with the silo, right? Destroy it. Yeah, I do like how it, it sort of, um, I mean, even when we loaded up your save a second ago, your path was like very different from my own. So it is cool to have that sort of like everyone will have, hopefully, like a different experience when they first start off. Right, which of the three regions do you start off with? They kind of suggest you do the western one, and I guess I just went with that. But you, you can go uh, northwest or east and find things. And then because they're not just filling your map up with things to do, it really is a matter of, like, where did you choose to explore? Where, what did you choose to, to see? Oh, so, you know, they nerfed these turkeys already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the turkey nerf of 2018. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Jeez. I, the turkeys were too. Oh, and here we oh, go. Revenge of the turkey. Man, revenge of the turkey. No, they should probably nerf the turkeys more. I think. No, I think they nerfed them too much. Like they got to give man. them a buff now. <laughs> I almost got murdered by a turkey when I played the initial version of the game, and then they patched it a couple days ago. Still pre-release. All right, we're at the pumpkin farm, as you can tell. We're not alone. Well, let's crouch. Let's pull out the binoculars. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, should we just send in What's-Her-Face and she'll take everybody out? Let's do it. Let's get that Far Cry buddy system. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go okay. in guns blazing again. She's just trying not to screw this up. Actually, in true Far Cry fashion, we should be able to... <gasps> what about Boomer? Oh, those are, that was a rock. I thought that was a grenade. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm letting him out. Oh, there you go. Because I think this dog will help. Yeah, look at this dog. This dog is great. That guy was about to shoot a flare to get buddies. Oh, interesting. I stopped him. Did, does the game tell you who has flares? He was, it did. There was like an icon over his head, but then also he was about to shoot it into the sky. I recognize the animation. Interesting, I haven't encountered that yet. All right, Boomer, do your thing. Whoa. Whoa. All I think Boomer's got him over here. Yeah. Good job, Boomer. This guy's dead. Nice. Fatal kick. Okay, so we rescued the civilian that is Boomer the dog. Aw. Hey, Boomer. <gasps> There's a pet yes, button. You can, if, you, if you rate your games based on whether you can pet the animals, here you go. Oh, man. Does that count as a pet, though? Yeah. Why not? And we've finished the man's best friend mission. We've rescued this dog. Oh, there it That's is. That's a pet. Oh, look at him. And so just as we can be recruiting some ordinary people in the game, we can also, and have them in our fighters roster, like we've just been running around with Sharon Nichols, we can also switch to even a dog. And uh, Boomer has some skills. So he will tag nearby enemies. So that binocular thing we were just doing, you don't have to do when you're running around with Boomer. And he will sometimes pick up enemies' weapons and bring them back to you. So cool. we can assign him there to the D-pad. And now we're... Playing this game with a dog buddy. Nice. Shades of Far Cry Primal in terms of animal taming. He's got a bit of everything. Yeah. 
But notice everybody just got tagged right there. That's really useful. Oh, yeah. So there you go. Sniffs out trouble. They even found a, a, a contextually relevant way to explain this. What is this about over here? This Who's this? It's like the cult's like... No, that's music Sharon. Setup. Oh, that is Sharon. I was trying to shoot Sharon. <laughs> well, why is she driving their cult music around? I don't know. We gotta destroy their radio. Yeah, I'm not feeling this music. I can live without this radio. <laughs> that's an L Cool J deep cut for you right there, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gotta sure. love it. So you'll, you'll go into a house like this and there'll be like a, like, let's check this out. Letter from Ray Ray and it explains what was going on in this house. And then there might be some loot to grab, get some money. I've definitely like seen a house with an answering machine or something where it'll give you a little bit of a... Whoa! It's called propaganda, man. Uh, you're right. Uh-oh, Cougar. <gasps> All right, Boomer versus Cougar. What do you hit left on the D-pad, right? Yeah, I did it. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you get out of here, Cougar. That's not what I expected to have happen. Oh, wait, Boomer, okay. Oh, come on. So just don't fight, animals. Man. Oh, oh no. Boomer. Oh. The cat was walking away. Man. All right. Take the cougar skin. They've changed the upgrade system in the game a bit. So you still have abilities and you still have loot, but it's a little different. So we can pick up, well, it's these challenges, right? So mm -hmm. like we've skinned one moose in this game already. And if you skin a second one, then you get three perk points. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different challenges. If our dog kills 10 people, then that gets us three perk points. So it's incentivizing you to do as many of the different types of activities and things that you can do in the game. Go 2,000 meters with the wingsuit, for example. And then what do you do with the perk points? You go to the perk section, and you upgraded the swimming ability I right did. away. Yep. Um, you got a parachute. We got ourselves a grappling hook and uh, some close combat gear bag so we can carry more handgun ammo and melee weapons yeah they, that was one thing that i noticed right away was they they added the um the ability to get more weapons like to, to hold more weapons yeah they, they kind of buried it into this perks system it's like way out on the right yeah you need eight, eight. points well, not bad though you already have four okay so i'm only halfway and, there. and what you could do is you could then strategize and you can say right. okay well i can get you know i need four more so okay if i get a rocket launcher and i kill 10 people the rocket launcher and got three more of these right right but look how far you are on the arrow kills yeah. So you need to get five more arrow kills, and you'll have three more, and you'll only be one point short. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a fun way to go about doing it as opposed to, like, you know, hunt five deer and two badgers or whatever. In order to, you know, level up your holster or something like that. Yeah, right. I don't – the crafting stuff definitely is, is different here, and I, I like this approach of what they're doing. Yeah, me too. So you'll come upon a thing like this, and it'll seem kind of interesting. It tells you, okay, you're at the Bridge of Tears. Let's get – Boomer in there. Oh, Boomer versus other dog. Dog versus dog. Nice. Oh no, Boomer. No, that was good. I think is there still another enemy? Given that music, there must be. Yeah, I think I, I think I did see. Oh, the, oh there you go. Oh man, poor choice, my friend. Yeah. Every Far Cry of late has this telltale color, which is basically interact with me if I'm this color, and this game is, is uh, light blue or teal or whatever you want to call it. It's that. like a baby blue. Yeah. I like it. Grappling hook, not something you have right when the game starts, but it's a pretty cheap upgrade um, to get to. And, oh, prepper stash revealed. So we can go to the map to see it, but you can just also see it's right there. So you see the blue diamond, and that's a sign that there's a prepper mission available. Which is another one of the mission types in the game. Um, should we check it out? Yeah, let's check it out. Okay. Peggy is the slang for the um, 
the, what is it, something of Eden's Gate? Mm -hmm. the, the people of Eden's Gate, I guess? Might be. Um, and that, so there's a slang for them. So Peggy, the prisoners have left some stuff. And because we have the grappling hook, in theory, we can activate it. It's called Swingers. And so let's give this a shot. I like I like the uh, the prepper missions. There's there's one on the beginning island that's like really simple, but it gives you an idea that you have to do something in order to access it. A yeah. little bit of like um, puzzle solving. Far Cry games, uh, this one included, are still mostly about just blowing everything up and destroying everything. But these prepper missions seem like they're going to be a break from that, and they're going to be more about do some uh, interesting environmental puzzle solving or platforming or something like that. And so some of them that I've done have involved. Like, can you figure out how to get through this locked door? This one is clearly more about can you manipulate the grappling hook well enough? Which hopefully I can. Nice. I, I thought it was about to fall there. <laughs> this looks fun. There's that telltale color again. Uh, Paul and I would be handing off the controller if it, we didn't have a philosophical disagreement in inverted oh versus not. I, I thought you, I didn't think you were going to bring it up, Stephen, but <laughs> not that you did. Sorry, too personal. Stephen personal. plays inverted, which is real bizarre. <laughs> I, I booted up your save earlier, and I was like, what is happening? I thought I was having a weird thing <laughs> Well, there is, like, brain. this drug in the game, and, like, you can kind of, like, hallucinate, and maybe you thought you were just affected <laughs> by that. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what I thought it was at first, um, oh, or I just thought, you know, Ascend. Steven's weird. Oh, are those bodies? Oh, oh, man, that's dark. Okay. Yeah. This game's uh, full of that stuff. I don't think that I'm going to land very well. Climb up there. a little more, I think. you get, you got to give yourself a little bit more height. There you go. Uh-oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. Is Boomer behind you just swinging around, too? <laughs> that would be great That'd if he be was. That would be amazing. I think, I think we left him behind. <laughs> yeah, we'll catch up. And let's see what we get for our troubles. Some caps, some arrows. What? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay. And then, oh, there we go. Okay. Nice. And this makes sense because the idea of a prepper in real life is that there are these people who are sort of like, they're prepared to survive the, the end times or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. They think the world or the country or the government or whatever is about to sort of you know take over. And so how they can they survive? So it would make sense that it wouldn't just be some treasure chest somewhere or something, but instead it would be this whole base. And it looks like there's a whole like story associated with this and everything. Definitely a, what they call that a board of crazy. Yeah, that sounds right. These perk magazines. Look, I'm getting you all these perk points right nice. here. Nice. Steven, I appreciate that. Makes up for turning my controller into an inverted. What did I just, I was, did I just get you oregano? What was that? Nice. Hey, got you some, some <laughs> perks and some seasoning on top of that. <laughs> hey, oh, look eggs. at this. Oh, that's that's the weapon right there. This is Okay, this is definitely the reason to be doing a, uh, a prepper mission oh, here. Oh, yeah. This bow and arrow feels so good. Especially when you land a shot and you hear that noise, it just feels so, oh, is that Sharon? Oh, uh -oh. man, they're down. Man, that cougar, these cougars yeah. are ruthless. So one of the things that makes this game very clearly a modern video game is that it has, you guessed it, two currencies, arguably three currencies. Um, and it's a mix of buy stuff with in-game money and then ways to get things with extra money. There's wrinkles to that as well. So. We can pick from a whole bunch of sidearms, stuff that we haven't accessed yet. It tells us we have to gain more resistance levels to access some of the better weapons. So you upgrade things there, but you can buy like a socket pipe or multi pipe to be your melee weapon. We have in our inventory already a baseball bat and an aluminum bat. Um, but Paul, you don't have any of the, the special points. No, not yet. Yeah, so you can get those by blowing up or lock picking chests in the game, as far as I've been able to figure out. So you get like 20 silver bars or whatever at the time. So that's the thing that's only on the top right that you have zero of. And you can apply that to certain uh, items. So for example, if you want to get this SA-50 free state, um, uh, kind of weird flavor text there. This gun is only f for a well-regulated militia, which oh, is necessary man. for the security of a free state. So some comments on uh, gun gun uh, gun rights right there. But you have these you have these weapons, um, and you can get them with the in-game currency, the nine thousand in-game dollars. We have forty three hundred, or you can buy them with five hundred of this other currency, which I have found some in the world just by blowing up and lock or, or opening up these safes that you can find that are, are fairly well hidden. Uh, but because this is a modern but, but video what if game, I don't have any of that currency? Yeah, no, I don't think it's yeah, it's not active yet. 
but you can um, you can basically, I think, use real money to buy silver bars as well. Hmm. So, I mean, it's not game breaking or anything like that, but it's just kind of like, you know, it's a sign of the times, right? That yeah. you have things in uh, in game that you might have different different currencies to buy. The same deal with the clothing in here as well. So like for our outfits, we don't have enough money to buy the anarchist outfit for you because um, we neither have enough of the fake dollars or the silver bars, which you get with real money. We can't get the deer season. Oh, you have the, uh, that outfit already. So oh, man. That's good. And if you join the Ubisoft club, you could dress as <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege Man. What's the What's the other one up to the right? You have this one. I have this one? Yeah, let's Oh, my God. It. Let's let's please equip that. Yeah. Uh, disclosure, we're playing on a, a copy of the game Ubisoft sent to us, a download code, and it had the, um, it was the deluxe edition, so I think that Aerial Force and Big Game Hunter, these fluorescent outfits, come with that. Um, this is just for you having a membership in Ubisoft Club. Mm. And then you can dress as a baseball player. You can't see yourself much, that, though. That's so the sad die, part. Yeah. yeah. Unless I, you know, hop into co op and then I can show it off to a friend. Mr. Fisher, suppose I'm just preaching to the choir, huh? He would be a fool not to take advantage of the fishing around these parts. That's not Michael I'm Ironside, no is it? I was going to say, is that, is that Sam Fisher? <laughs> is that you, Sam? Did he retire <laughs> to Hope <laughs> County? <laughs> You can save us all, Sam. Worth for. Way I, see it, the I don't think it's Michael Iron's days, side, but I'd like to think it is. From the fact that most don't stop and think man, he's just, he's just this guy's talking. Not every <laughs> all right, good. dude. I'll see you later, all right, man. man. Sorry you didn't get the Sam Fisher role anymore. <laughs> but. Whoa, we got a lot to say. Okay. So <laughs> off-brand Sam Fisher there. <laughs> you can play the whole campaign in co-op as well, um, uh, but we have not messed around with that yet, so... Uh, that's another option. I prefer playing just with a dog sidekick. Uh, yeah. No, no offense to the human beings out there in the world. So this game is just basically set in this huge world. We barely even explore much of the western area with all the goofing around that we were doing. So it seems like there's a lot to do. Definitely is a mix of like sort of traditional Far Cry action with an interesting new setting. Uh, I want to see more of the missions and see if like the quality of like moment to moment holds up. But the kind of like sense of anything wacky can happen in the middle of a Far Cry game and mayhem can ensue at any moment, that's definitely there. And I like that. It's a good looking game. Um, I am interested in recruiting the characters. Uh, I think that's a, an interesting system for just getting more uh, character and personality into the game. I like how they've changed the perks system around. Yep, me too. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the basics of the game is that it's a tweaked, uh, and some tweaks to the Far Cry formula. Interesting new setting, looks good. Yeah. So that's uh, that's basically Far Cry Five. A little bit of the stuff that's the same from before, and a bit of stuff that's different. Yep. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. <laughs>